2,000 years ago, something amazing happened. A king was born after a spiritual royal lineage and a human kingly lineage. He was born of a virgin and the angel told Mary to call the baby boy Jesus. Now, even the constellations, listen to this, even the constellations spoke of his arrival and triumph over darkness to his forefather, Abraham. That's right. God told Abraham to look out at the stars and the English translation of the Hebrew is to see if you can count the stars, but the accurate translation from the Hebrew language is see if you can tell the story of the stars. What story? the story of Jesus. Look at this, Virgo is the picture of the virgin bringing forth the seed, the desired one, Jesus. Libra is next, a pair of scales of justice and below a cluster of stars depicting the slain lamb and beside the lamb, another cluster of stars called the Southern Cross. It's the map of forgiveness, Scorpio. The man holding a snake and stepping on the scorpion. It's Jesus, our champion. Then there's Taurus, the mighty bull who carries the weight of humanity with a cluster of seven stars in his hand. Now remember this, remember what we talked about in part one that John saw in the book of Revelation? He saw Jesus holding the seven stars in his hand. And then finally, the last arrangement in the constellation is Leo. Leo, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Royalty, representing royalty. The cluster of stars under Leo's foot is Hydra, the snake being crushed by the lion. The king, the regal royal king of eternity has won the victory for mankind, the species of man. Yes, even Abraham saw the story played out in the stars of Jesus, the king, not coming to earth to be served, but rather to serve humanity by defeating Hydra, the serpent called the devil. Only a righteous king could defeat the devil, but that wasn't all. Only a royal priest could balance the scales of justice and restore righteousness.